outside of downtown Seattle and this is top 10 toys and Tristan lives actually really close by so he was nice enough to actually drive us here so I really don't know what to expect and I really don't know what kind of toys they have in here but from the window it looks like I see a lot of plushies so let's go inside and check it out so obviously I have to go where it's pink and here's where it's pink and I see a lot of like baby dolls and they have some 18 inch dolls which are by a brand called Adora and I've actually never heard of this brand so I don't know if it's maybe something for a local but she's really pretty and these run about $69.99 so they do have inset eyes a little something different they have a lot of plush babies these are actually really cute I like how he's wearing a sock monkey <laughs> okay this one um, it needs a little help with the hair department. She's got a little wild hair day today. But then they have outfits. Oh my gosh, they have calico critters. Oh my gosh. As we know, I all love these little faces. And look at that little meerkat, which I'm so grateful for. Mommy and Gracie actually have found a meerkat for me and they're actually discontinued. So it's really cool that I was able, or they were actually able to find it for me. But they have a ton of calico critter stuff here, way more than what they have at like our normal Toys R Us. Cause look at, I love that one. Is she on a unicycle? Um, yeah, she is. <laughs> and they have a lot of the two packs, and they're about average pricing for a lot of these. And I don't see anything super new, but they have a big selection of calico critters, and I know a lot of us watch and love these. So let me see if they have any more girl stuff. Oh, wow, the Lotties. Okay. I didn't know they were also sold here. Um, if you guys watched my Toy Fair video, and well, one of my Toy Fair videos, and I actually had a private tour of the Lottie Dolls, and these all run $19.99, and they're really, really cool. They're for all ages. Um, they're not super poseable or anything like that, but their outfits are really detailed, and they're very, um, again, more of like an all ages doll. So it's for something if you want something that's maybe not a Monster High doll, but you want something like an everyday girl doll, this is something that I would definitely recommend checking out. Again, they do have the big anime eyes. I like this one though because she kind of like reddish hair. So th thank you again to Lottie for actually doing me, giving me a private tour. And if you guys wanted to check that out, definitely go through our history and check out all of the other uh, Toy Fair videos. And the outfits run about $10 too. So really, really cute. Ooh, they do have furniture for 18 inch dolls. And a lot of outfits. But again, oh my gosh, look at the calico critter. Oh my god, that's a big one. I love it. I love it. Ooh, wow, look, they have Playmobil back here. So I guess it's kind of like more of like the girl or feminine toys. And then back here, they have tons of Playmobil. Like a lot. They have all the girl ones and they have different play sets you can buy. Ooh, I like these. These are the fairy ones. Okay, these are actually really, really cute. They look almost like the fairy Legos, but cuter. And I love that one. Um, girl stuff. Let's see what they have back here. Oh, I like these. Hold on. They have different pricing, and these are really cool. They're by a company called Papo. I just like how pretty and fancy they look. Bunch of fairies. Oh my god, they have a gnome. They have a gnome. <laughs> how much are you, gnome person? Oh, $15? I don't think he's $15. Maybe he is. I don't know. <laughs> he's cute, though. I need that for my dollhouse. They need to have a little noom sitting in the front. <laughs> they have a lot of cars and stuff here, wooden things. What is Philip finding? Let's follow him. Philip, what'd you find? Oh. Viking Codex. What? See, I wasn't sure if this was like, I don't know if it's really, I guess it's geared towards kids, but I love the, uh, what the introduction. Talking? Eric was born in Norway around, but his family... Because of some killings? Why is it in quotes? Uh, yeah, I mean, some killings, like, they didn't kill a lot, but they killed some. It's, so. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's for kids. It's written in very basic stuff, but it's... How much is that? It's about Vikings. Uh, this is seven ninety five. That's not bad. <laughs> they actually have calico critters, you know, the little animal things I like? They have mm. a lot of them. Ooh, they have a ton of pop-up books here. So very much more of, like, an educational toy store. Again, we walked in here not really knowing what to expect. But I really like everything though. Again, I'm all about like educational toys. I think it's really good for people to not just have toys that are fun. <laughs> you know, I feel like if you can take something away from it. Cool, let me walk back here. 
Ooh, arts and crafts, you know, that's what I like to do, especially with my scrapbooking. Let's see if they have any cool stickers or something. Ooh, hold on. I see a bright light back here. Ooh, hold on. Legos, Legos. That's educational. What do we have back here? Whoa, tons of Legos friends, Lego princesses. And Star Wars Legos. Watch them have something that, oh, they have the cantina. I wonder if Chase was looking for that, because I know he really likes it. $70, it's not too badly priced, pretty average price. Oh, I don't know if he has that one. I might have to call Chase and see if he has this one. I don't recognize it. He might. Hmm. Oh, wow, they have these for only $4.99. Do you have any more, or is it just the one guy? No, just the one guy. Hmm. Okay. So pretty cool. Again, this is called Top 10 Toys right outside of downtown Seattle. And if you guys are interested, I will definitely try to hopefully find the address and put it in the description below for you guys. But they have a lot of educational toys. They have a lot of like cool things like this, for example, like stones. And again, it's really interesting. So thanks to Tristan for taking us here and letting you guys kind of into a variety and kind of like a new toy store. Okay, so I've never been to one of these Meyer stores, and from what I've seen from other YouTubers, that they sell Monster High dolls here. So this is a store kind of like Atari at Walmart type of thing. So I'm really excited. I hope I find Monster High dolls. I will probably scream in excitement. Okay, so dolls have been seen, but I don't see anything new though. Let's see here. No, just normal fashion Easter dolls, some LPS, some, oh my God, I used to have that. Oh, I miss that. You would put a pen and you can draw different circles in it and it would come out with these cool shapes. That's actually really, really neat. And they have one Monster High doll and they have some blind bags down here. Nothing new though. Nothing too crazy. I like that Girl Scout Barbie. All right. Oh, wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. There's more. It works. Wait, there's more. Oh, my God, they remember after High dolls. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Oh, and oh, Lego friends are... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, ooh, and they have clearance sale, you guys. What do we have here? We have $11.97, we have $18, what do we got? Coffin Bean, we have Katrine, we have poor, poor Claw Venus. Why nobody buys her? Well, we know why. And then, <laughs> uh, see that needs to be cheaper, because that's a little cheaper at Target. So we do have, let's see here, Mirror Beach, we have just the basics. I wonder, oh, do they have Duchess? That's the only one I'm missing as a basic, you guys. So let's see, she's a beautiful ballerina and I don't have her. <laughs> they have a ton of briar in here, apple. All right, so nothing there. Oh, what do we got on this side? Spring Unsprung, a lot of the Spring Unsprung line. Through the woods. Okay, let's see, through the woods, through the woods, through the woods, and some of the freaky field trip. They do have Amanita here, which I know we found at Toys R Us and Target before I left. Uh, let's see. Wow, they have a lot of Monster High up at the top. They do have Geek Shriek, a lot more than I've seen at other places. What do we got over on this side? Play-Doh, other figures. Tristan attempting to do hula hooping. Can you do it? Can no you actually hula hoop? No attempts. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna do it? You promised people a show. I'm no, sorry. I wanted the big one. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Oh. Uh, we actually one in one of our toy hunt videos. This is like way back when. Chase and I had a competition to who would like last longer. <laughs> And we actually, of course I won, of I mean, course. I didn't have a jacket on, of course. <clears throat> More clearance. Okay, what do we got here? Holiday Barbie. Ooh, you are expensive. Walmart had you for $20. A little high priced. But you got to think that we're up north, so, I mean, prices are a little different than Orlando pricing. This does not look like Barbie. Why is her face so different? Why are you not on clearance? Oh, well. But... So nothing super new at Myers, but hey, I actually have been into a Myers now and I can say that. So yay, yay. Thanks Tristan for taking me somewhere new. Oh my God, they have more stuff here. Well, I'll film some more stuff if we happen to find something more interesting. So today is our last day in Seattle. Very sad. I know, I know many days here and it's been beautiful. A little overcast today. There's the Ferris wheel. We are on top of the market and 
Any last words for Seattle before we go to Portland tomorrow? Portland, you got a lot of uh, you got a lot to compete with. So I know, I know. That's all. I don't know. Kara, what do you think? Any Seattle, I want to squeeze all your pigeons. Okay, and <laughs> let's just say goodbye. <laughs> They're so chunky. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> They're so fluffy. <laughs> Keep the pigeons oh, away from... <laughs> oh, it's a baby! They're little sparrows! See, look, they're all coming, they know. Time for petting. <laughs> so, hashtag, keep pigeons away from Kara. <laughs> no, it's been really awesome. It's a great experience. We could have asked for better weather. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, those are all the pigeons communicating with Kara right now. <laughs> so, Portland tomorrow, but we are going to be going out and dancing tonight with Tristan and Chelsea and going out and seeing some more of the nightlife. I'm gonna get more sushi in a little bit. And we're gonna get sushi in a little bit, so I'll probably film there a couple more minutes. You look beautiful, Philip, with the light on you. Oh, stop. <laughs> uh, I think I gotta... Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> uh, what? This is the third time that we've been here on this trip, and Philip's gonna try a spam roll. That doesn't sound good at all to me. <laughs> it's really... And then look, at what, what'd you get in this plate over here? Salmon bits. It's actually called salmon bits. Oh, I thought it was like, oh, for some reason it scared me and made me think it was like squid legs. Ooh, and there's cheesecake. But I love this place though. Look how she goes around the room, you guys. Yeah, Kara and I came here like the first day we were here and now we have, like, we have to come back. So, how's your, oh, you gotta try the spam thing. We gotta try the spam thing. All right. He's gonna try it. We're gonna do a video later too of Philip eating weird foods. You guys have to watch that video because it's gonna be hilarious, right? Is it hilarious? How is it, Philip? Is it good? It's good? Okay, that sounds gross. But I'm glad you like it, though. How about? Ooh, avocado rolls. That's me. Nah, I already ordered one. It's so cute in here. See, and then, like, the colors off the plate tell you how much they are. So if it's, like, a yellow plate, it's $1.45. And then the prices go up from there. They have a bunch out here. They need, we need these in Florida. How's, how's your food? <laughs> no words can explain how yummy we're just hungry right now. Whoa, drop the stuff.